Welcome to A to Z Music Composers. We're going to start with A, Thomas Augustine Arn, better known for Rule Britannia, of course. He was born in London in 1710. He was the son of an upholsterer. So I hope you're sitting comfortably for this sonata movement. Letter B. This is the music of William Byrd, born in 1539, a very important Elizabethan composer who was a Catholic but was allowed to remain as such unusually by Queen Elizabeth I. He was born in Lincoln. And I'm going to play this on what is a musilar. You can see that the keyboard is off centre. Had it been in the centre, it would have been the virginals. And this instrument here is a copy of an instrument that is in the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam, uh, 1664. A copy made by Douglas Hollick, who lives in Grantham, near Grantham. So all local people. He made it in 1986, this instrument. And I'm indebted to Clement Matchett, who wrote out this music in 1612, when he was a student, officially a scholar at Keyes College in Cambridge. He was born in Lincoln, uh, 1593. And here we have birds, the whistling Carmen. This was a well-known song in that Tudor era. era. It, uh, the Carmen was the, we'd have called him now the carter in charge of the horses. And this was the whistling, the idea of whistling, came from his control of his creatures. Now you're getting to know the tune very well, a very whistleable tune. 
And we have, I'm going to play two more variations on that. The rhythm will shift underneath. And then finally, over the page, you will hear a descant. reached the letter C. This is Louis Couperin's turn. Louis Couperin came from the great family of Couperin's. He was born 1626 and became organist of, in Paris of Saint-Gervais next to the Hôtel de Ville. This is a branle de Basque. been playing a Morley harpsichord which was very much a copy of the of the time of that music and now we're going to move on to letter D and this is an arrangement of a John Dowland galliard he wrote so much that was beautiful for the voice and the lute uh, often so sad lacrime but this is entitled the frog a galliard. Dowland was born in 1563. And here again we have a, the, a, a simple tune which is varied. You will hear this several times and with a middle section, section B, which even itself is varied. Here's the middle section. <laughs> So that's the new, the new area in the middle for a bit of variety. Variation was very much the, the main form of writing, of, of form of variety. It's a, bit like, it's a bit like Christmas time, where the turkey has to be served up in so many different ways through the 12 days of Christmas. Well, not quite as long as it had gone off by then. But here we have variety on a basic tune, plus the middle section. <laughs> Thank you. 
for Elgar. Elgar wrote this piece for a theatre production. It's called Bo Brummel, Bo Brummel, and reflects a, a dandy of society of the time. In it, you can hear the essence of Elgar, and he wrote even in his 60s, 10 years before he wrote this piece, he said, I'm still at heart the dreamy child who used to be found in the reeds by Severn side, with a sheet of paper trying to fix the sounds and longing for something very great. <laughs> 